His great subject was always before him, the sea. It is a field of primal encounter. Homer insists that you are always alone before it, which you are. For him, it's bound up with his rejection of industrial America. The machine enslaves the men who serve it. Only in the woods or on the ocean or on its rocks are we truly free, truly American. He understood the structure of waves, currents, surges, loops of foam, the sheer power of the water breaking over Cannon Rock, its relentlessness and its strange, fickle yet maternal beauty. The sea gave him his best images of American man pitted against nature like this Gloucester fisherman on the Grand Banks with a halibut in his dory. 